All right, I'm going to share a clip from Danny Castle on The Music Has Changed. I think it was from yesterday, apparently. All right, so uh, let's listen to what he has to say. Mom, impossible. God created music. It's first mentioned in Genesis 4 and verse 21 where he said Jubal. Jubal was a father of them that played the harp, the uh, instrument. Jubal, like Jubilee, Jubilation, Tuba, Jubal, instruments. Like that. Uh, but actually, singing was mentioned. It's first mentioned in Genesis 4, but it's mentioned that it happened before Adam and Eve in, Gen in Job 38, where it says, When God laid the foundation of the earth, the morning stars sang for joy, or the sons of God shouted, and they shouted for joy, singing and shouting. That was before Adam. Yeah, no. Uh, see, I got a big problem with that. He says that the. Uh... Genesis or um, Job 38, the morning stars. <clears throat> he's claiming, along with so many other people, it's unbelievable, really. The morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. I'm going to share with you my problem, my big problem, big problem with this, with this idea that this was before. Adam and Eve. I got a big problem with that. And the reason why I got a big problem with that is that word right there. Okay. So if that word is wrong, then I have to throw out my entire Bible. Now let's get into this. All right. When the morning stars sing together. So we know Genesis 1, the stars were made and the stars were made right there on day four day four fourth day the stars were made so for this theory to work that the morning stars were before Adam and Eve you have to eliminate the first four days and you can't put it on day six so that leaves you one day the fifth day all right so in order for your theory to work it has to be on the fifth day were you so this has to mean when the morning stars sing together on the fifth day and all the sons of God shout out for joy now you got another problem <laughs> the sons of God all right so that's huge right there you have to now change that word to mean something else all right so the idea is that sons of God are not sons of God and they want to claim that they are angels <clears throat> that's a huge problem because yeah, you you cannot get around the fact that this can only this theory can only work if it's on day five it's the only possibility now here's the other problem you know if you read the whole thing <clears throat> and you understand the context of it to me it doesn't make sense that you would try to make this out to be angels the only reason that I can see that you would want to make sons of God out to be angels is because you believe in UFO aliens that's it that's the only reason so in order to support your belief in little green men from Mars you have to change that word to angels change the meaning of sons of God to angels and listen I'm a son of God and believe me I'm no angel okay this does not work look if we go let me just pick one place here young lions right there all right is that good enough is that good enough for you okay you know, rain on the earth okay so uh, there we got rain on the earth let's start with that one 
to cause it to rain on the earth. Okay. <laughs> My goodness, man. My goodness. You have to ignore everything else that's written in the Bible to support this idea that sons of God are not sons of God. You're essentially saying God is a liar. Now think about that. Is that where you want to be in life? To say that the Bible's wrong and that you're right? Is that where you want to be? Alright, in Genesis 2, verse 5, For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth. Alright, so... This is... Um, is in support of the idea that it had not rained here let's do it this way it had not rained on the earth until the days uh, until the flood came right until the days of the flood alright and not caused it to rain upon the earth and then the next mention we read of the word rain is for yet seven days and I will cause it to rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights so we read here in Genesis 2 that there was no rain but there was a mist but there went up a mist a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground so um, a mist came up from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground so there was no need for rain alright that changed after the flood of Noah it was a different world back then where it did not rain all right so here we read to cause it to rain on the earth okay so this can't be on day five all right, we could go up here and say and and find other uh, you know when I laid the foundations of the earth are you saying that that's only on day five uh, when he when he laid out the measures thereof and who has stretched the line upon it this was only on day five remember the stars were already made or I'm sorry the stars were made on day four after the earth was made right after heaven was made on uh, heaven and earth was made on day one the stars are made on day four Adam and Eve made on day six you see what I'm saying all you're left is this tiny little window day five I can't go along with this idea that the sons of God are not the sons of God I, I can't Look. at first John Chapter 3, verse 2, Beloved, now are we the sons of God. Right now we are the sons of God. And John 1, verse 12, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So I can't go along with this idea. that <clears throat> all this was happening <laughs> this is this is the only option you got is day five the stars are made on day four I repeat that a thousand times I don't think anybody cares just ignore that and claim that that's UFO aliens or angels or whatever you want to claim just to hell with what the Bible says and just use whatever to support your theory of little green men. I mean, that's what you're doing, aren't you? Okay, so let's go down here. Young lions. When were the when were the lions made? Well, that must have been on day five. Is that right? That on day five the lions because if this is if they were made on day six 
you're in big trouble. So were lions made before the creation of the world? Before heaven and earth, were there lions? What are you teaching, man? Every beast of the earth, every fowl. Let's see here. Uh oh. Uh oh. The evening and the morning were the fifth day. Now, entering into the sixth day, God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, the beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. <clears throat> Alright, so the lion was made on day six, the same day. That man was made. Right, you see what I'm saying here? So if you're going to apply this to, oh, this was before, what, before heaven and earth? You can't say that. Because the stars weren't made until day four. All you're left with is day five. It's unbelievable. Why would you even? What's the big deal? Why? Why is that so important? That you say that God is wrong. You're calling God a liar, just so you can fit your little green man theory. Well, why would you do that? Why are little green men so important to you? Really, what's the big deal? You gotta. Your little green men theory is so important, you're gonna make God out to be a liar. Why? In Luke chapter 3, verse 38, well, in Luke chapter 3, there's the genealogy that is traced all the way back to Adam. And. Uh, you know, which was, you know, here, let's read the last one, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. So Adam being the son of God, all these guys were the sons of God, all of them. They're all sons of God. The separation of the sons of God did not happen until God made his promises with Abraham. Now, the children of Abraham are the sons of God. And so today we are the seed of Abraham because Jesus Christ is the seed of Abraham. And we are in Christ. Okay, we didn't get into that, but um, that's a whole nother sermon. I just want to focus on this morning stars morning stars you cannot get around the morning stars all right the when the morning stars sang together so this has to be <clears throat> what it was like in the days before the flood all right in the days before the flood there was a mist of water that would come up out of the ground to water all the all the you know grass and trees and everything right right there there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground all right so right there this is not how it is today. That was different back then. Another example of things being different would be the how long people lived, right? Adam lived at 930 years. Everybody was living much, much longer than what we're living today. Alright, so again, 
this is another example of something that was different before the flood of Noah. Alright, I don't think there's any way to get around it. There's no way to get around it. And I just, again, my problem is calling God a liar. So this is sons. This is not just one person. This is plural, meaning more than one person. Alright, and there's never a mention anywhere at all of sons of God being angels. No mention at all. In fact, the, it, the Bible is very clear that God never calls his angels sons. And that's very clear by reading Hebrews uh, chapter 1 verse 5, right? Because God never did that. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son. He never did that. Never did that. And so, again, what are angels? Well, the Bible specifically tells us who makes his angels spirits. And right there, as clear as day. Right? Alright, and so, oh, there's another verse I could share. Let's see if I can find it, though. And you might have to give me a second here. Alright, here. Oops. In Luke chapter 24, verse 39, Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see for a spirit has not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. So Jesus is not just a spirit. He was flesh and bones. So, so Jesus is not just an angel, as the angels are. Okay? I hope you understand. I mean, it's pretty simple, man. Angels are spirits, and sons of God are not angels. Alright, if you look at this as, uh, an angel has not flesh and bones as you see me have, maybe you'd understand that better, right? And I know people are probably thinking, hey, what about the angels that appeared in bodily form? Yes, that doesn't mean that they are flesh and bones. Angels are spirits, so they appear to us in a variety of different ways. Not just as, uh, you know, men, but in a variety of different ways. And we could get into that uh, later on down the road, but... Spirits are angels. Angels are spirits. Sons of God are not angels. I'm a son of God. And believe me, I'm no angel. Alright? So, I can't go along with this. I can't go along with this idea that the sons of God were before Adam because the first recorded mention of a son of God is Adam. There's nobody m mentioned. Alright, think about that. Who, if Adam was a son of God, well, where are the sons of God now that are not men? I mean, why isn't the Bible very clear about that? I mean, there's literally no mention at all of angels being sons of God. No mention whatsoever. Alright, and we see here... The, I read, already read that verse for you here. 
Romans 8, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. And because ye are sons, God has sent forth the Spirit of His Son unto into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as light in the world. All right. And so I already read those two verses. So there are many mentions <clears throat> of sons of God. Never one single mention anywhere at all that there are also other sons of God that are angels. I mean, there, it's not mentioned it's not suggested anywhere at all all you're left is with this one verse that's the only thing that you got to hang your hat on and the biggest problem here is your window is one day one morning day five and then of course the pro the reason I can't go along with it and you're calling God a liar. You're saying you can't trust the Bible that you hold in your hands. And that's what you're saying. You're saying, I can't trust the Bible, the Word of God. I can't trust God. I have to trust you. And you're telling me this is wrong. It's not the sons of God. It's angels. And they are not the same thing. So I can't go along with this. Alright. 